Yo, what is up, you guys? I'm DeAndre. I'm Javante. And this is Dre and Jay. We're here today to do a trailer reaction for Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Um, so yeah, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the official teaser trailer. Um, we're right here checking out, give you guys our reaction, our thoughts. So, let's go. I'm telling you, it's gonna be another hot one out there. Protect our heat alerts in effect for New Jersey, feeling like a hundred degrees. Zero, pull up. <laughs> That's off man too. Mm -hmm. More combat. <laughs> Scared to death? <laughs> so cool! <laughs> I'm not really a crazy Ghostbuster fan like that. So I'm gonna be very honest. But I did like the last one. I thought it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I saw it when it came on TV Diango the movie theater stuff. I thought it was fun and entertaining. And this one was the same. It looks fun and entertaining. I'm kind of skeptical because they brought back the original cast as well. So I'm just wondering how they're gonna do screening time as far as having like Bill Murray and them on the screen as well as doing with Paul Rudd and this like the kids, like the new version, pretty much of the Ghostbusters. I mean, you could have it where like they show up in the beginning, and they're trying to solve it, and they end up getting stopped and captured or whatever. So that, that it sidelines them for the movie, whereas the new team has to step up and help them. And you could do that. Like, is Bill Murray signed on to do that though? I mean, who knows? Because they brought back last movie for like that last scene. Yeah, but. I don't know, I'm curious. I don't know, I, 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 don't, I would hate for it to be where a situation where, like, the okay, the OG team comes in and they gotta help. Like, That's they, they help clean up the mess, like, the last movie. Exactly. Came. Think so, about, okay, but think about like, Jurassic Park, what did they do when they brought back the original crew? Yeah, they had them involved. And, then, and it was too much. You had, like, okay, we have too many people. We have Chris Pratt trying to do his thing. We got the OGs trying to do their thing. Trying to combine this. We're trying to figure this out. I, think, I just hope that they don't overcrowd the cast because you brought back the original OG actors. The real OG original team, I just, I'm curious to see how this works. I agree. You know what I mean? Because you kind of try to establish these kids in Paul Red, so it's kind of just... You know what I mean? Like they're basically... Paul Red's like your new... I don't even know the characters like that, but he's like the new version. And like these kids are like the new version of this team, so like bringing the old ones back is kind of like, okay, we're kind of step on each other's toes in a way. Yeah, well, it's a... What's it, what's it called? What did they call it on the screen? It's a requel. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we okay. Yeah, that shit don't work. That shit don't work, bro. You see, that's Jurassic Park. No, I mean, y'all are the same ones talking about, oh, Neve Campbell needs to be in, in the film. I'm not saying that Neve Campbell needs to be in the film. No. I said she was cool right now and all. Yeah. 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 I said they get rid of Courtney Cox. That's true. I said they fucked up doing that shit. And they kept all them characters alive. You know, I actually heard Neve Campbell, they uh, asked Neve Campbell about coming back. And I think Patrick Dempsey might come back. That's all stupid. The detective from that's from all from stupid. Why are you bringing back characters on top of characters? And you're not killing characters. Don't get me started on screen. They're adding and not killing nobody. Same with Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is adding characters. 
I just, I just worry that they might just be adding too many characters that nobody has, and then you're trying to, you know what I mean? No, I feel you. I feel, I feel that. I mean, but I'm, the trailers look good though. I'm here for it. I mean, I know it didn't have like a December release date. Yeah, it got pushed because I think shit went down with um, the, the strike or something. I mean, either way, it fits. I mean, if you had it in December when it's the movie centered around like cold, a cold front, you know, as far as like the. The ghost, yeah, they have been you know, so freeze the city. It could have worked then, but then also the movie takes place in July, so them pushing it back to summer is just fine as well. Yeah. Um, regardless, I think it'll be a hit in theaters. I don't, I don't remember how the first one did in the box office. The last one did really well. It actually got very good because they about was coming off that the, that one that old girl, all the girls did. Yeah, yeah. And that one, you know, got shit on. So I think this one, def the last one, definitely brought a, new, a better taste in people's mouth, and it felt more like the OG Ghostbuster mm -hmm. films. As well as bring back the window castle, a nice tie in, nice, you know, send off. Which is why I'm kind of surprised they brought them back again. Uh, that was the send off. Yeah, that is true. But, um, so that's how I'm curious about what they're doing. That's, I'm just kind of, those are my, corners, my concerns. But overall, the trailer looks fine, looks really fun, um, looks cool. So I'm excited to see it. I think it's really interesting. Yep. But, uh, yeah. What did you guys think of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the official teaser trailer? Be sure to let us know down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm DeAndre. One time. And who you going to call? Ghostbusters.